In the examples in action video for topic 2, we are going to begin to apply the concepts addressed in topics 1 and 2 to a real e-business scenario. In topic 1, we identify the e-business need. We observed our peers, we logged daily annoyances, we subscribed to trade magazines, we did research on products and services based on customer reviews and blogs and social networking sites. And so for this e-business scenario, we're going to propose that we have identified an e-business need of bringing fashion jewelry to the World Wide Web. And so now we're into topic two where we begin to analyze the market. With this e-business idea in mind, who are our potential customers, who are our potential competitors, and what resources can we use to identify both groups? The first site we're going to take a look at is called pewinternet.org and this is a part of the Pew Research Center and this, the pewinternet.org, is, is created to analyze and present information on American trends. This is a cost-free resource that is filled with report, reports, statistics, data analysis, so this will help you to identify the demographics of your potential um, target group, target customer group. On the right side you'll find um, several reports and what they title the latest research on the home page but what I want you to look at on the right hand side is get the latest statistics. When we click on that we are presented with the opportunity to find out research, infographics, trend data for adults and for teens. For our fashion jewelry e-business we are going to believe that our customer base at this point, we're going to target folks that are 18 or older. So we're going to look at trend data for adults. So when we click on read more, we are brought to the trend data page where we're provided with additional reports such as who's online, um, what internet users do online, and several other reports that you should take a look at. We are just going to take a look at who's online, what percentage of certain subgroups are mainly online using the internet. And so when we click on that, we receive a listing of demographics of internet users. And this is up to date. I mean, it's a February 2012 survey. And we look at these subgroups, adults, race, ethnicity, age, household income, educational attainment. And we can determine who, what percentage of these folks in these subgroups are using the internet. For our fashion jewelry website, based on our identifying the e-business need in topic one and in this scenario, we are going to target women. So we would take that idea and then begin to look at other factors, race, ethnicity, age, household income, and so on, and determine which subgroup would be uh, good to target for our fashion jewelry website. And so this is just one report that we can begin to help us to really drill down and identify our target customer group. Now we want to take a look at how do we identify our competitors. So I just went to a basic um, search engine, google.com, and I typed in a few words that I thought would represent what we're going to bring online, which is fashion jewelry. And I searched on these terms and I found it says over 136 million results. So there's going to be a lot of competitors for this particular e-business need. So we can search through these and the next step would be to identify um, direct competitors, indirect competitors, potentially future competitors, and then we would add those to a competitor analysis grid. We'd look at their websites and add the features to a, a competitor analysis grid. Another thing you want to become comfortable using is Google Trends. This is also a free service and what this allows you to do is to enter search terms and you can search trends and it comes back with this search volume index which just means what is the relation between those search terms over the over total number of searches overall in Google for a given period of time. For instance, we're looking how many, um, what was the extent of folks searching for the term fashion jewelry 
in the last 30 days in the United States uh, via Google.com. And so we get we get a pretty healthy index. It doesn't stay steady, so it shows us there are some times in the last 30 days where internet users were searching for these terms more frequently than others. The thing we notice though is that the index is not at zero. If you're searching for trends, you put in keywords and your index is coming up zero, you may be considering offering a product or service to um, the World Wide Web that is not wanted or is not needed. Um, the only other scenario is that it's a future product that maybe folks haven't decided they wanted yet, but that could be a really risky area. So this is a good indicator. It can mean there's a lot of competition or it can also mean that um, this is what folks are searching for and this is what they want so there's an opportunity to bring this product or service to the marketplace. So to identify your customers, um, your target group, you want to use pewinternet.org. You want to use search engines such as google.com to identify um, various competitors and then you want to use Google Trends to see if search terms related to your product or service are actually needed in the online marketplace. This concludes our Topic 2 Examples in Action video. Please proceed to Topic 3.